today we're here with Becky Seidman at the Woodman Farm, which is the Ag Experiment Station, part of the University of New Hampshire. And this is a Rolling Thunder movable greenhouse, and we're going to discuss a little bit about layout and design of the high tunnels. Uh, this is an October day, we, and here we are planting winter spinach. Uh, these beds sort of have been laid out here previously to take advantage of the space inside. They are actually at 48 inch um, spacing. People can do smaller or wider sometimes. It just depends on the specific site and location. And uh, Becky and her um, grad student here have been planting spinach, three varieties. And I'd like to find out from Becky a little bit what she's been doing and um, why she decided to uh, lay out the greenhouse in this manner. Sure. So my objective with this experiment is to test different varieties at different planting dates and basically look at how late we can plant winter spinach and whether late planting you catch up in yields or you don't catch up in yields. So it's we have plants going in at three different um, three different varieties going in at five different planting dates. Um, we chose very wide beds because we needed to um, have a relatively small plot with very little edge space. It's a little hard to reach into the middle of these, but we can do it and we can access them from both sides. Um, this is just how we laid it out. We could have done it very differently and we might a different year. And then this greenhouse is not um, heated, correct? Correct. So will you have um, a covering, an inner covering in here as well? We will. We're all planned to have a full covering that will cover this entire, all four beds, the entire width, entire length of the greenhouse. It'll all be covered. Great. And then um, in terms of sort of the next stage of what you would do um, in the spring, would this be um, moved since it is a movable greenhouse or will this yes. stay here? What is your plan? This will probably move. We have, um, it has three possible positions and it's in the furthest position. Um, the other end has a cover crop on it right now mm -hmm. and we will probably roll it over an experiment of summer crops that'll be where the cover crops are now. Okay, and would that be tomatoes, for instance, something that would be it trellised? Might be. It might be tomatoes, yeah. Okay, great. Likely. Well, that would be another um, point to make about layout and design is if you have this vertical space, it's great to take advantage of trellising. So where you place your crops, how you lay out the beds will influence where you're securing the trellising line. Um, so that would be something to check out next, next spring. Thank you.